Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for doing another video. Not done a video for quite a while. Um, just recent purchase of mine, what I've done uh, in uh, what I made in the uh, last uh, couple of weeks. I bought another Sandbanks Gillet or body warmer, whichever way you wanna you say it. Um, but basically, just another body warmer purchase um, by Sandbanks. Now, at first, when I looked at Sandbanks online, I didn't think too much of it to be fair because um, I like the brand called Nobis. And then there's Canada Goose, and then there's uh, other similar brands to that sort of uh, what do this kind of thing. But having said that, uh, I mean, uh, I had my first purchase of uh, a Sandbanks product, which happened to be this gold uh, gillet, which I've got here, because that was so good. I thought, oh, I'll get the silver one. Now, if, on my previous video, I did mention that I thought the silver one would probably a bit, look a bit too loud. But having bought it and having worn it and looked at it and everything, I think it's actually quite good. You can get this gillet, this body warmer, in uh, four different colourways. You've got like a dark blue, which almost looks like a black. Then you've got like a light blue. You've got silver and then you've got gold. So I've got the two loudest colours out of the two, which are not that loud really when you wear them. They look quite, they look quite cool. Um, so Sandbanks is basically another uh, company which has come out. It's fairly recent. Um, Jamie Redknapp, who's a footballer, he's post a... Uh, um be associated to this brand in some way i don't know if he owns it or he he's got shares in it or or whatever but he's he's linked into this brand um he's got a five-year warranty on the gillet um it's uh, wind resistant uh high thermal retention uh eco down made from recycled plastic bottles apparently the gillet so it is very warm, I must admit, it's very comfy as well to wear. Um, so this is just a quick look at the silver one, basically. I've got the gold one here as well, but um, a quick look at the silver one. So this is what the silver one looks like up close, like a metallic silver. You've got like a, a dark grey interior padding, You've got um, silver bell staff. That's another brand, by the way. Um, I've got quite a lot of Bell Staff stuff on, on previous videos of mine. You'll see quite a few Bell Staff things what I've got. Um, so check them out as well because they're they're uh, they're a good company as well. You've got um, um, the Sandbanks uh, logo. I got a large on this one. Normally in size medium, but I just thought I'd get a large because if you wear a jumper. Um, if you're wearing something like this over the top, it's not going to give going gonna to give you much room. So you need to go up a little a bit in sizing so you don't look uh, like you're all too squished and whatnot with wearing your stuff so it's got good padding in it it's got an inside pocket uh, with a good zip on it uh, if i can just unzip that for it. you got um not waterproof lining but it's smooth um it's not like what you would get in a canada goose or a nobis but it's kind of smooth i'm, I'm assuming it's water repellent on the outside here uh, not tested it really in the rain yet as such um but there's the tags and there's the identification logo on it it's got a fairly good zip on the inside um it's got a snap back it's got snap buttons on it which I, i'm not too keen on these snap buttons so i would have prefer zips on here if i'm honest on this jacket because with it being a nice jacket i would have expected they've gone like bell staff bell staff do this as well they put like little snap buttons on it but i would prefer a zip because if you put in you know like keys in there and things like you don't want them falling out and losing things but having said that they do have very deep pockets if you can see my fingers are right out on the bottom down there so there's uh, the pocket is really deep so um there is a little bit of a chance of you losing something, but not that much. But really, I would prefer zips on it to be secure. One thing I didn't mention on my other review of the gold one, of this one here, which is a nice one as well, um, as I didn't mention, there's fleece lining in the pockets. So you've got nice black fleece lining. I don't know if you can see that on the video. So it's really cosy in there. Um... It's got a company logo at the side on the front there. 
Now, it doesn't have YKK zips. It has a two-way zipper, but like I mentioned on the video where, where I'm talking about the gold one, um, it takes a little bit of getting used to of lining these zips up correctly, so you can't rush it, so you've got to make sure you line it up properly so you can close it. If it had YKK on it, it probably just connect dead quick, and you could just zip it up dead quick. The YKK zippers tend to be really good, but uh, the only thing that lets this jacket down a little bit is the fact that it doesn't have YKK zips. Um, I think they've gone with their own brand. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Not too sure what that brand is. Don't know whether it's their own or not, but it's a two way zipper on it that works, it's functional. But it would have been better if it had YKK on it. One of the best things about this jacket is it's got a really high neckline on it, so this will come straight up to your ears. It's quite high, so you don't need a scarf. So if you want to wear a scarf to look cool, you can do, but you don't need one because this will cover all, all your neck right up to the um, your ears. That's the, that's the design of it. It's got a good ne high neckline on it. If you turn the jacket around, it's got another Sandbanks logo on it. Now Sandbanks, I don't particularly like this logo design. I used to be a graphic designer uh, at college, but a long, long time ago. I think that's a little bit lazy, that design. I don't like it. I like the badge. I think the badge is cool, but I don't like this uh, this uh, badge for some reason. It looks a little bit tacky. But it's got a really good uh, bubble effect on it, um, which is quite cool. And it's a bubbly jacket, but it's not overly bubbly, but it's bubbly just enough. It probably just got the right amount of bubble to it. Because um, you don't want to be walking around like Michelin Man. Um, it just doesn't look cool, uh, I don't think. But that's pretty much it. It's a really cosy, uh, warm uh, gillet. It's one of the best gillets I've got. I have got Bell Staff gillets, but Bell Staff gillets tend to be a little bit uh, thinner. Uh, they're warm, but they're a lot thinner. Uh, the Sandbanks one is a lot more bubblier. It's got a bit more of a bubble to it, similar to what you would get with a Canada Goose. Um, these retail for about £400, but you can get them on discounts here and there. So look out to see if they dropped down in price or not. I've got the silver one, and I've got the gold one. Uh, and they both look pretty nice. I am thinking of getting the blue ones as well at some point at some stage but anyhow guys that's just a quick look at the sandbanks silver gillet i'll see you next time guys